All right. Sister Bibi, would you please come up here? So I know that this isn't... You can stand right here if you want to. So I know that this, we, the Lord's been blessing us to be able to do something called street testimonies. Right? What God is doing, what we're seeing Him do out there in the streets. And so today, we actually have quite the testimony. It's a blessing. Right? Brother Lee's already crying. Deal with him. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, so last... Todd's got a soft heart too. So last Saturday, we went out. Brother Noah and I, we went out and ministered. I shared some of that testimony with you guys, how I met a lady who was out there and God really touched her heart. She came up to me and she said, I'm going to go wherever you go. I want to go with you. And please, I'm ready to, I'm done with this life. I'm ready to, to get out of this place, right? And so that lady that I met last Saturday was Bibi. And so I met Bibi. We got to share. The Lord dealt with her heart that day. And then today as we're out there, we're off of Union again ministering and sharing. We're all out there. God was just opening up many divine appointments. And uh, I remember when, so we were listening to a song actually. And so in part of the song, it was talking about, you know, those that are thirsty, right, to come to the well of everlasting water. It's like, who, who has this, this well that can satisfy the thirst, right, of, of a dry soul, dry spirit? And so we actually talked about that. If you remember that, B.B., last Saturday, preached on John 7, right, 37 through 39, talking about if, you're, if you see, you're painfully, eagerly feel your need for refreshing. Right? And you saw that and you heard that and you wanted that. Right? And so since Saturday, I didn't know what happened to her, but I've been praying and asking God, Lord, what I, if I should have taken her somewhere, Lord, show me. I, I didn't know. Right? And so I've just been praying and I've been asking, well, today, BB approaches me. I see her and I'm like, is this the same lady? And she said, since last Saturday, the things that she was doing, she has stopped for one whole week. And she, God had touched her heart. Right? God had touched her heart and said, you're done. And now she's, we saw her out there, totally looks different in the face. I can see that God's dealing with her heart. And um, it was beautiful to see her out there today and say, hey, I, I want to go to church, right? She says, I'm done with this. I'm ready to, I'm ready. She's ready to serve the Lord. Now, here's what's interesting. This is cool. Like I told Brother Lee, the plot thickens, right? So this morning before we went out, because we went out in, in, to Union again today, and actually Angie saw, right? So she stopped and her, her trio, or one of them wasn't there, but nonetheless, she had two, a duo, Right? The, yeah, right? So they went out there, got to see her boy and, and, and her girl, obviously, and they were out there and got to see, with us, see us. This morning, Scarlett comes to me, she says, hey, I had a dream last night, and in my dream, there was a woman, there was a little girl who was doing everything backwards. She was riding her bike backwards, she was talking backwards, everything she was doing was backwards. When we picked up Bibi today, she said that she had, after we had met on Saturday, she went and tried to grab her sister to go home with her, right, to get her off the streets from doing the same thing. And so she was out there ministering to her sister, but her sister didn't want to hear it, kind of doing her own thing, right? And she had mentioned that, that when she was, a, a while back ago, her, her children, and obviously your family was all killed in a car accident in one night, so she kind of blames God for some of what's happened to her family. And so she was talking about how her sister, she's been trying to, you know, she, she didn't want it, right? So she's like, man, my sister's still out there, she's still doing her thing. This morning, Scarlett told me about this little girl who was involved in a car accident, so she did everything backwards. Well, today, as we're out there off of Union, BB just came by, got to say hi, good to see you, we'll pick you up at 4.15, and I was late, right? So she was like, hey, I'm already here, I'm waiting on you, and I was like, man, praise the Lord, I just rolled up, right? So praise God. But as she got in the car talking about her, her sister, she leaves, obviously, before we pick her up for church, and I meet, I didn't know her sister walking backwards behind our vehicle. I said, hey, you might not want to walk around our vehicle backwards because there's a lot of traffic on that side. So she came around this side, but I said, hey, I said, we met this lady today named Keisha, and she was doing everything backwards. And she says, that's my sister, right? So today, God opened up the door to be able to minister to her sister named Keisha, who was doing everything backwards. And today, we came together and we prayed for her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and we said, Lord, Lead her in the right direction. Let her walk forward now and stop going backwards. And obviously there's a spiritual sense to that. And she grabbed her stuff, gave her a cross just like what she's wearing, and she turned around and started walking away forward. She came to us backwards and she walked away forward, right? And so it was just crazy to me to think, man, we're sitting here hearing about this story about her sister. She wants to get her off the street. And we're like, oh yeah, absolutely, right? And, and keep praying for her. And little did I know, my daughter has a dream that morning, right? About it, or this morning, saying, hey, th this little girl, I didn't know. I was like, well, just write it down. Maybe God will show you something, right? Because that's the way God's dealt with me. So then to meet her, hear about her sister, and then to come to this place and say, God reached out to your sister this morning, right? 
And little did we know we were talking to your sister. So God was dealing with you and now He's dealing with her. Right? So I, I rejoice in the Lord. This is a tremendous blessing. Not because she showed up to church tonight, but because when I got here and I hear, I'm hearing all these things and I'm hearing what God's doing in her since last Saturday because I didn't know. God doesn't have to show us anything. We go out week after week and we sow and we sow and we water and we sow and we water and we sow and we water. And sometimes we see great things. Sometimes we see nothing and it looks dry. And then one week goes by and then you find out, hey, that seed's been growing. And God has been moving. And so God brought her here today and I'm so grateful for what God is doing off of Union. And it's a blessing. And Lord willing, there will be more out there that God's going to touch and save and set free in the name of Jesus. Amen? Amen. Amen. So praise the Lord. So, real quick, so... Sister Bibi, do you have anything that you want to say? Um, I appreciate you so much. Praise the Lord. If okay. I didn't see you, I don't think I would have did it. Yeah. Well, praise the Lord. Right, right place, right time, huh? Right. <laughs> Amen. So praise the Lord. God is good. Amen. God bless you, my sister. Yeah. And thank you, my brother.